Hello, my name is Mariah. I am Mrs. Nitty Rogers here on YouTube and Ravelry and Mrs. BJJ Rogers on Instagram. It is Monday, September 4th, 2023. It is Labor Day here in the US, which means we got a nice day off, long weekend, three day weekend. It is beautiful and sunny today. It's been a great weekend so far. This weekend, we went to, my, me and my son, it's just me and my son, so we went to the Alaska State Fair, which is about an hour north from us. It's at the state fairgrounds, and they have rides and all sorts of, I mean, it's just like any other county fair, state fair, whatever. It's just here in Alaska. It's the three weeks, August up to Labor Day weekend, so, um, yeah, we just get it for about three weeks, and, um, it was monster truck weekend so they have like a grandstand uh kind of like a mud pit type racetrack in the middle of the fairgrounds and they have race uh monster trucks and like um what do they call it smash derby or something like that where you know the cars smash each other anyway this was the weekend that those tickets were on sale so um i got tickets for me and my son and we met a couple co-workers um on saturday so that was fun so we showed up a couple uh hours early it was at 5 p.m um it was a beautiful day on saturday too it was hot it was so nice and um we were stuck in fair traffic for an hour and raiden fell asleep the last 10 minutes of the hour ride so or the extra hour ride that it took um so thankfully I bring my knitting everywhere and I was able to knit and just let him sleep for about, I, I was good for about a half hour. And then I was like, okay, I'm ready to go, bud. So we got snacks and uh, smoothies and like, I mean, they have all sorts of stuff. And I visited the yarn booth that was there again, Dancy Sky, Dancing Skies, Fiber Arts. Um, the last time we went, so that was our second time going. We went on my son's birthday, which was August 24th, and it was pouring rain that day. We tried our best, but it was cold. It was pouring rain. It wasn't any fun. Um, and I got a couple things then at, on my son's birthday from that yarn booth. And then we went again yesterday, and she didn't have um, more of the color that I was looking for. Um, which is okay. I mean, maybe I'll message her in kind of special order. It, I'm not sure yet if I really do want more or what. Um, it's a bulky weight yarn and I don't know what to do with it. I paired it with a hand spun during that uh, Matsu Fiber Festival and then I was able to snag some more the first time we went to the fair and then she didn't have any yesterday. So it's a bulky weight with a hand spun. I wanted to kind of do maybe a color work sweater of some sort but I don't know if I have enough. I haven't worked with much bulky to really know how much I actually need for a sweater or not. We'll see. We'll see. We might be able to stripe it. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway. Sorry. Um, I laid my son down for a nap just a couple minutes ago and I brought the monitor into my craft room. So if you hear him, that's it. Um, he's just kind of settling. I have a lot to show. It's been, I think, a month since the last time I did an actual podcast. Um, I have my notes here. I've been really busy at work, so I haven't really... Um, I mean, I have knitted quite a bit, but I feel like I really haven't been able to knit all that much. So um, I've got a lot of plans for the rest of the year. A lot of plans. There are a lot of great knit alongs going on right now that I want to take a part of. Um, the first and foremost being the Hohe Fall knit along. I have three projects entered into that. Possibly four because one of her mini challenges for the three months. So it's three months long and each month there's a little mini whip challenge or mini challenge I should say. And the first month is a whip. Finish the whips. And I have one Hohe sweater that's been on the needles for about three years now that I just need half of a sleeve and the second sleeve. So I might finish that. We'll see. I don't know. I don't know what I'm feeling yet. I think the reason that I haven't finished that one yet is because I just couldn't figure out where my decreases were and which decrease I was actually on. Uh, so I got to do that. I got to figure that out. Um, the other knit along going on right now is the flock along, which is the wandering flock, um, Geraldine's, um, specific yarn, her yarn. Um, she's having a flock along, um, in preparation for Rhinebeck coming up. I'm not, uh, blessed enough to come this year, but maybe next year, maybe the year after. I don't know. I already went to, um, Flock Fiber Festival in Seattle this year, you know, so I feel complete, 
Um, but maybe I'll drag, try to drag my best friend next year. We'll see. We'll see. Um, the other knit along that is coming up in October is the West Knits Shawl Mystery Knit Along. And I'll show you the yarn that I got for that. I did not go shopping through Stash. It is a gradient this year, he says. So, um... I'm actually really excited. I've been wanting to join for a few years. I actually don't like or do brioche. So each year I'm like, eh, I'm just too afraid that he's going to have brioche in it. So then I don't. Um, I did buy last year's pattern and like was watching. And I don't know. There was a lot to that one. I don't know if I'm actually going to end up doing that one. But um, geometric gradient this year, I think... I think I'm okay. I'm going to try it. I'm going to challenge myself. I think it'll be fun. If there are brioche sections, I'll just maybe rib or something. I don't know yet. I'm really excited though. I'll show you. I went running to my, to my yarn store, local yarn store. So we'll see. Okay. Um, I only have one FO ish thing. Let me dig it out. I can't remember which bag it's in. I think it's in this one. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, right here. I'm pretty sure I talked about this in my in my episode where I talked about Flock Fiber Festival, but I didn't show it here, and I don't remember exactly. Anyway, I have it blocked or open and ends, but this is my Totally Tank Top by Jessie May. This was so much fun. I love how this fits, and I can't wait to block it. I should probably just do it today. I have like three things, four things, a lot of things to block, so maybe I'll just have a blocking party today. Um, the yarn is, um, Coast to Coast Yarn Co. in the colorway Red Panda. I use, like, one and a quarter skeins. I did not alternate at all. And just look how beautiful the speckles turned out. Um, let's see. It calls for a rolled hemline, but I just did two by two rib to match the rest of it. It's got, like, a racerback type. I love how this looks on. I am so happy with this. I definitely have plans for another. So, and I also have plans for another mini mock tank. Probably next year. I'll probably do them next year, next summer. Maybe? I don't know. I have so many ideas running through my head. My creativity has gone off the charts right now. Just plans in my head, going through my stash. I've been buying up yarn like crazy. This week, I have spent so much money on yarn. But I'm so excited for it all. I can't wait. So that's my only finished object right now. I probably would have had more, but I have just been jumping back and forth and starting new things like crazy right now. And I'm okay with that. Um, I think... No, I'm not even going to say it. Never mind. Okay. Next, whips. I'm just going to start left, go right, and start think, um, grabbing stuff. I got a de-stashed couple a few skeins of d-stash from um perfectly knotted claire perfectly knotted she had the d-stash and she had two skeins different skeins of explorer knits and fibers and i just grabbed them up i was like you know what i could use them for gifts i just want to make some hats like i just want to use it i don't know and then i got like a white mohair so so this is oops I don't know what colorway this is. Uh, sorry. Explore Knits and Fibers. I'm using the Classic Ribbed Hat by Pearl Soho. It's a free pattern, DK weight. Um, the regular needle size is US 3. Yep. And I am a tight knitter, so I went up to US 4. And I'm doing the adult small or adult medium. Um, it goes from baby to adult large, I think, for this pattern, but it stretches so much. It's supposed to be a double folded brim, so I think I'm maybe like halfway to where I need before the decreases. Um, don't ask me the colorway. I don't remember. Really? I don't know what my neighbor is doing, but whatever. Anyway, hopefully you can hear me and not him. So that is that. Um, I don't know, I've just been... I was going to make this for a friend. She was kind of um, a PA student with us and she's um, for the whole summer. And I got this yarn on Wednesday and my last day working with her was gonna be Friday. So I was really trying to bust my butt to get it done. And then I lost steam as I always do. So I don't know, I'm gonna use it as a gift for somebody this year for sure. So we'll finish that eventually. My US 4s on there, and I need the US 4s for this to do the ribbing, the like neck band. 
and I don't want to go any farther on this until the neckband is done. So of course I just fork myself over, but I don't care. I do, but I don't. This is my Miles T by Kadri. Nope. I can't remember. Sorry. I don't remember who the designer is, but Miles T. I'm using Bad Sheep Yarn Co. in the Colorway Wildflower patch. This is one skein. This is my first of two skeins that I have. And look at the difference in the one skein. Here's the back. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? So it's a drop shoulder design. So you work the back to here and then you pick up the front, work the two shoulders, join them and then work to match for the armhole and then join for the round. So this is in the back, thankfully. And here's the, the detail of that. I think it's so, it was so much fun. This is a lot of fun to knit. Um, so this is in the back, thankfully, so it doesn't bug me too much. And the front just looks like an ombre, which is nice. I don't want to figure out how much longer I need to go until my neckband is done. So I need to finish the hat or to finish the neckband. Um, anyway. And so I'm kind of, and so like, look, at the bottom has barely any speckles, whereas the top has a lot of speckles. So I'm worried about... My next skein, I wound it twice to just kind of see where the speckles are, lighter versus darker. So I think the outside is the darker and the inside is going to be the lighter. So I'm going to do the neckband in the more speckly, so the outer and the the, the sleeves, it's short sleeves. So I'll do those on the, from the outside and then I'll start the rest of the body from the inside and go from there. And I think my third skein is the same way. I haven't really looked into it, but... I am now officially, yeah, I was going to say, I now am officially a pull from the outside person instead of pull from the inside. This bugs me like no other. I mean, I make it work and I still use it, but this bugs me like no other. I think it looks so untidy and like it's going to to tangle really easily. So my next whip, I'll show you. Um, I'm a outside pull now instead of an inside pull. So that will eventually be done. Um, yeah, I'm excited for this one. I start, I took it on our camping trip last weekend. We camped for two and a half days. And I got, I mean, I, I only got about maybe that much done on our camping trip. And then I just flew after that. It's just been, it was a nice, um, gentle reprieve. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but it was a nice, um, refresher, calming. I don't know the word I'm trying to say. Anyway, I just flew. Okay. Next whip that I just started two nights ago. Yeah, I think so. Um, is, oh, I gotta look at the name. Laponia sweater. This is by, um, the lady who is from Scandinavia type. Finland or something and she makes those books Vera Valamaki thank you she makes the books with um Hohi they're friends this is a top down color work all over color work round yoke sweater oh I'm so excited about this oops sorry I am on the third so it's just this repeating um design all the way down the body and it's long sleeved I don't know yet if I'm gonna do long or short sleeves Oh, I just love how this looks. The back has the short rows. I'm actually pretty proud of myself about this. The colors I'm using is, um, this is, oh gosh, Farmer's Daughter Fiber Squish Fingering in Pine Drop. So it's a nice foresty green. I was going to use this for a tank top, but then as I was digging through my stash to pick out colors, I just wanted to do this instead. The other one I'm using, this is Witchfire Fibers in the Colorway Comfort. It's a nice pink. This is a nice base. Um, this base is 100% Superwash Merino, and it's 490 yards per 100 grams. It's a lot. I don't know how. And then my third color is Woolberry Fiber Co. in White Way of Delight. So this is my second project that I'll be using this colorway with. This is just my third skein that I never touched. I like it. I'm excited. So 
I've been kind of flying. Yeah, this is two evenings worth. I just have to finish this second white panel and then I split for sleeves, which is just crazy to me that this is fingering weight and I got this far already. So that is my main right now. Let's see, what else do I've got? Okay, let's see. Um, I am almost split for sleeves on my cozy classic raglan. Let me just make sure I didn't drop any stitches. Let me change over my stitch stoppers real fast so I can show you. I'm literally on the round right before you split for sleeves. I was doing so great making just this, doing just this, and then I lost steam and started something else. So yeah, oh well. This is Cozy Posy Yarn Co. This is a kit that I've had for a long time. I started it out as a blanket, but then I was like, no, I'm not feeling this blanket. Also don't think I'm gonna have enough yarn to do it because there's only four DK skeins. So I started with this colorway. I don't have tags for these anymore. And I don't know if I have this cataloged on Ravel Ravelry or not at all. So this is my second Cozy Classic Raglan. I went a size up in the sizing as this, from the first one was a size three and this one's a size four or four and five, something like that. I want a little more um, oversized. Than, I like the fit of the other one, but this one I want just a little bit more oversized to see. After this colorway is this reddish one. Sorry, this is all really gross looking. This has been sitting in a bag, this reddish colorway. And then the fourth colorway on the bottom is this brown. So it's going to be really pretty. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, I'm going to make this short sleeve for sure. Just because I want to. I don't feel like doing long sleeves on this one. I might do them kind of longer like here. I don't know yet how I want to do that. But I'm going to finish the body first and then I'll decide. So that is my Cozy Classic Raglan. I really want to do a Cozy Classic Raglan light as well. I really want to. So that'll probably be soon-ish, maybe. So, okay, um, another sweater that I started is the Storm Sweater by Petite Knit. I'm using um, Coast to Coast Yarn Co. in, oh, it's right here. Ha <laughs> ha, Secretly Royal is the colorway. It's 100% deep, uh, Superwash Merino DK. I just joined in the round and it's been a, like a week since I've picked this up and then I have the yarn picked out to make my son the matching one the storm sweater junior so the yarn I'm going to use for him is exploring it's in fibers in the colorway Skellig which is one of the Ireland colorways so I think it's going to be matchy matchy but not too matchy I think it's gonna be great I only had two skeins of this, and then I went on the, oh shoot, Discord D-Stash group, and I was like, I just know one more skein of Skellig, and holy cow, I had an amazing person let me buy one of her skeins, so I have enough. I think I would have gotten away with two, but I want the third one just to be sure, so this, that's gonna be soon. Once I get done with this texture repeat, which I am one third of the way done, I am going to then start this one and then I'll get it to where this one is and then I'll work on them the same so that it'll be done at the same time. I think it'll be so cute. I love this sweater so much. It is so much fun. Like it's engaging for my brain. I just love it. Yeah, and the colorway in real life is just amazing and the texture, you can see it, but like, it's also kind of hidden. You kind of have to, like, it's just, oh, I love it so much. I'm so excited. Love it so much. Okay, next whip. So that was one of my future cast-ons that I just talked about. What is this? It's going to happen soon. I want a matching sweater with my son. I think it'd be amazing. The next, hold on, I have a lot to move over all of a sudden. I just like have three main bags and I have a billion whips that I leave on the couch over there and then I just like move them back and forth as I feel the need to work on them you know okay one I don't know I don't remember where I was with this or if I showed this last time I just don't remember 
This is the Chalet Day Sweater by Samantha Guerin. I am using um, the Yarn Addict Co. And it's both the green and the whitish green there. I have one sleeve done so that I could figure out how long I wanted to make it. And then I'm on the body. I'm almost done with that one. And then I'm going to do the second sleeve too. So I've got that picked up at least, ready to go. It is a worsted weight. Squishy. Oh, I love it so much. I love it so much. I feel fall now. I've been drinking pumpkin spice like you have no idea. Like you, yeah. Like you wouldn't believe. Okay, last whip. Let me just, oh, I have two more whips. But I can't tell you where the last one is. It's in there somewhere, but I don't know where, so I won't show it this time. I was just working on this a little bit this morning. Um, I took Raiden, I've been potty training Raiden this weekend. Like, officially, he's finally using it. He's getting it, the idea. He's doing great. Um, and so today I made our first outing in just underwear, you know, underwear and pants, but no diapers. I brought them in the bag. I brought an extra change of clothes and we went to the playhouse, which is like a coffee shop slash, um, kids playhouse that's here in town. It's the only one. It's super popular. It's really fun. They rotate the toys a lot. Anyway, so I didn't want to bring my Laponia sweater because um, I would have to look down at it the whole time. And with this, I didn't have to look at it so that I could kind of watch him and see. Um, so it's just stuck in it. This is my Tolsta tea. I'm using Drops Bell. It's a navy colorway. Yeah, I'm doing, I'm getting there on that one. The next one after this will be the fingering weight Tolsta, which I might do in my Lena, which is a fingering weight, um, like linen-ish yarn, just like this one. Drops Bell is... So Drops Bell is, let me tell you, it's 53% cotton, 33% viscose, and 14% linen. It's a DK weight. It feels heavenly. It is wonderful. That was a cheap yarn. I got five balls for 25 bucks, including shipping from the UK. Sold. We'll definitely get another. And Lene, which is Sandus Garn, it's a fingering weight. I have it in black. Um, this is, let's see if I can read it, 53% cotton, 33% viscose, 14% linen. So it's the same exact composition as the drops bell. Just, this is fingering weight, and then, oh, this is tin line. That's right. Line is the worst weight. Drops bell, I don't know, you know what, I should compare the price, see if they are comparable or not. I mean, this is a pretty cheapish yarn, too. It's like between seven and eleven dollars us dollars per ball depending on where you get it from yeah i should compare it i didn't know that those were the same exact composition so that's interesting to me anyway yeah maybe i'll do my fingering weight tolsta in that okay that's all the whips that i have i forgot to go grab the last one and it's somewhere in here so um just a couple of goodies slash future cast-ons that I wanted to talk about. Um, so I talk about my Storm Sweater Junior, which will be a matching sweater with my son. Let's see. Let me talk about what I got from my yarn store for the West Knits Knit Along. So she brought in a new company called Quince & Co. She brought in the fingering, the sport, and the 100% linen base, which I bought two sweater quantities of that. And then this is a gradient. So the fingering and sport weight come in 50 gram balls. And at my store, it's $11.95, $11.95 US for each skein. So it's less than one fingering weight skein, 100 grams. So I just uh, ran straight there. Literally that morning, I saw the announcement for it. I saw what he was planning on. And during lunch, I went to the yarn store. I hadn't seen Annie, my friend who owns it in like, I don't know, six weeks. We're down to one car right now. So I haven't been able to go during lunch, which is when I usually go or on Fridays, which is when I usually go because my husband is driving me around everywhere. And he's been, oh goodness, that guy, that guy. I can't wait to get my car back. That's all I'm saying. Anyway, so I found, I just went straight for these. I knew I wanted to try this. This is 100% American wool. 
this base does feel the fin so it's the fingering weight base this base is called finch it does feel a little rustic but it's gonna be for a shawl so i'm not too worried and when i put it against my neck it feels good like it is a little scratchy but not in a bad way it's just like i don't know I don't know how to explain it anyway so gradient so these were all sitting in the same shelf these three and then this one was in the next shelf over so this is my gradient it's pinks i'm so excited so it's clay pomegranate barolo and crow i'm really excited so i got two of each to make 100 grams for each i'm really excited to start this i cannot wait I cannot wait. I'm so excited. So that is the West Knits and Cow and a new acquisition. And then while I was at the yarn store, I got another sweater quantity of the 100% linen, which is Sparrow. This time I got, oh my goodness gracious, these tags. This is Eclipse. This is kind of like a black yarn. I don't know. It looks like purpley black to me, but I think linen, you know, just takes it differently. So I'm going to try to soak. A, so it's really rough. Like, I mean, it feels like wheat, straw, whatever you want to call it. But I mean, I can't wait for the finished product. Um, I got four of them to make a tea or a tank. I don't know which one yet. But I'm going to try to soak one skein kind of just like this. Take the tag off. No, maybe I'll just like, you know. Anyway, I'm going to soak the skein let it dry, agitate it, see what I can do, see if it'll be a more enjoyable experience knitting it. And um, if it just doesn't happen to be any different, then, I mean, it is what it is. So I don't know. I just kind of want to make that um, experiment. So that's that. I also got, I started thinking about, um, this is also one, the other exponents and fibers. Apricity um, from that D stash. Anyway, I also started thinking about while I was sitting there knitting, I was knitting on my Miles T, thinking, just talking with my friends, you know, that were there that time. And I was starting to think about Christmas gifts. My best friend Melissa, she's starting to think about, you know, she's starting to work on her Christmas gifts because she's going to be gone for a few weeks, like starting Thanksgiving. So she's doing them really early. So I was like, you know what? That's a great idea. I probably should. Plus, I'm going to start thinking about little projects to bring with me to Spain. My husband and I finally booked our tickets to go to Spain October 28th through November 13th. We're going to be for there for two weeks. It's just going to be us. It's going to be great. Oh, I'm so excited. Anyway, so we're going to go there. I am planning two projects for sure. One is to is the Streets in Barcelona shawl, which is by Hohi Locatelli. It's going to be for um, her knit along. Uh, did I? Yes, I did enter it. Anyways, um, it's for her Hohi fall knit along. And then there's also this one, which I'm going to use the do the Paris and Berlin cowl by Hohi. It's going to be especially for her um, mini knit along within the big knit along called sorry bug hold on called um it's like meant for gifts like christmas gifts holiday gifts so this is going to be for my mom a paris and berlin cowl this is bad sheep yarn in the colorway brooks and this is the stellina so i don't know if you can see the sparkle at all probably not but i think this will match her coat her coat is like pink She's really into like creams and blues. So I think that'd just be really pretty and it's really soft. So she's been asking me forever for a cowl. So I'm planning on three actually for her. We'll see how I go, how it goes. We'll see, I don't know, at least this one. I think this one would be great. And then the last thing I got from the yarn store that day was Cory Worsted. She just got a new shipment of Cory, um, Lobby and Ami, and one of them was a bunch of different colors of Cory Worsted, and I saw this bright pink, and I was like, oh my god, I need this for sure. I want to make a hat. It's just like a really pretty heathered bright pink. It's called As If. As If. Psh. Anyway, I was just being silly, sorry. I'm gonna make a hat of some sort for myself. Oh, I love this color so much. So, so, so much. 
Um, what else? Okay, from another D stash, I had gotten these three skeins of Explorer Knits and Fibers Surrey in Anismore, which is from the Ireland collection. And I'm like, okay, do I... I don't know what exactly I'm going to do with it. I do have three skeins of the DK in Anismore that I could pair with it, make a sweater, which I think would be about worsted weight, right? I don't know if I have enough. I have no idea. But it'd be like worsted weight-ish, I think. Or I could do like a cumulus blousey type thing and try to find a different. I do have this white aloft, which is um, from Knit Picks, I think. I think it's nitpicks. Anyways, this white aloft that I could pair with it, make a cumulus blouse. I mean, I, I don't know yet what I'm going to do, but it's really soft. I'm really excited. So I just want to kind of show that. Um, let's see. While I was at the fair during my son's birthday, not only did I get the extra of that bulky weight sweater that I'm thinking, but these were in the clearance pile and I think it's a sport weight she doesn't actually put what weight she just puts 100 grams 328 yards in the colorway the content in the colorway that's it oh no it came apart shoot hold on that's gonna bug me so I miraculously found two of the same color they were like in different areas but I think that'd be a great um sweater for my son so yeah fancy skies fiber arts the colorway is clearance I don't know if it was like a bad dye batch um, of something that she already has. I don't know, but they were only 16 US dollars instead of like 24. So I'll take it. <laughs> and then I also got this hand spun. <gasps> I never want to learn how to spin. I admire spinners so much and I want to work with hand spun so much. So there is a um, Alaska based person her she her name is Annette she is born fuzzy boutique here in Alaska and this is my second hand spun that I have from her the first one was from the fiber festival and then this one I have I went and checked it out her hand spun and I almost got some more but this is called Alaska's colorful clouds it's merino 100 yards two ply oh 100 yards okay I for some reason thought that I said 100 grams I don't know that's how my it's 3.1 ounce. So I'm guessing, let's see, 100 yards. Probably a bulky is what I'm guessing. Uh, who knows if I'm going to actually make anything. I probably will make a hat or gloves. I think gloves would be really pretty, but oh, I just love it so much. Oh, I love that so much. Okay, the last thing that I bought was, oh yeah. Okay, and then there's two more of future cast-ons that I want to talk about. So, um, Woolberry Fiber Co. had her new linen alpaca base. So it's 50% alpaca, 25% linen, 25% silk. She had a one-time drop, like, um, up shop update of it. I was able, I wasn't able to snag the colorway I wanted, but this was my second choice, obviously, because I got it. Inkwell, it's kind of like a charcoal gray. I don't know what I'm going to make yet, but it's fingering weight, 438 yards per 100 grams. I don't know what I'm going to make yet. But it's, it feels really good. The alpaca really softens up. And the silk too. Really softens up the whole thing. So. I'm excited. I am really happy with all the different summer yarns. That I was able to work with this year so far. Okay. Two cast-ons. Future cast-ons that I want to talk about. One is the Tessellated Vest. By Andrew Mowry. I've always wanted a vest or a slip over. Whatever you want to call it. Um, I am going to make one from Petite Knit as well, eventually. I just think I'm trying to, like, broaden my horizons for different, um, uh, fashion, I guess you could call it, or how I dress myself. And obviously knitting is a great way to do that. So this is what I had in stash. Oh my gosh. I'm having yarn fall. So sorry. Hold on. Okay. This is what I had in stash. I don't know yet. I do have more spin cycle coming to me that I bought that I might change this out this is valley girl dyed in the wool so it's the sport weight and then I had this woolberry um this is the caboose mystery bag 100% merino that I'll use this is the main color for sure and then the surrey I just had one skein of this dyed by Dells this is before Lake Arson 
changed to Lake Arson. This was dyed by Dells. Alexis Snowy Fur Coat. So this will be my fuzzy. This will definitely be my main color, fingering. And then I'm probably going to do this one just to use it. I think it's so pretty. I'm not into purples, but I think I'm going to try for sure. It doesn't have that much purple in it. It's got mostly pinks and blues. So I'm probably going to do this tessellated vest. I don't want to do the pullover. I think it's just too much knitting. I want to do a vest. I want to have a vest. So, I mean, that's the big thing. But I do have more spin cycle coming to me, including, um, oh, what is it called? Oh, it's gone. Okay, never mind. Uh, um, it's a exclusive colorway to one of the yarn shops in Oregon called Ritual Dyes. I think it's Ritual Dyes. So I'll show that as soon as that comes in next time. So, tessellated vest, for sure. Don't know exactly when maybe next we'll see i don't know i have a lot going on in my head and not enough knitting time so okay and then the last thing i'm going to talk about is the seaside holiday tea me and my best friend melissa have been talking about this tea for a long time it's a lace yoke it's a short sleeve um tea type it's like a round yoke but it's got a lace yoke and then that is like one color and then the rest of it is stripes it's kind of like micro stripes and then a main color. And I was actually just before I started this video, I was kind of talking to her about colors. Well, I texted her. She hadn't texted me back yet, which is fine. Anyway, so I have a lot of simple skeins. The other day when I was shopping in my stash for my Laponia sweater, I was like, holy crap, I have so many beautiful colors. Next year's goal, no yarn buying. Like almost at all. And using just my stash. I think I might have a little more time on my hands next year. We'll see. Um, my, my life might look um, quite drastically different in the next six months, but we'll see. Not in a bad way, just in a different way. Anyway, so here's what I was thinking first was these three. I was thinking at first this perennial as the lace and then... Maybe this is the main color, which is hickory lane fabric. And this is the st little stripes, which is also hickory lane fabric. I bought these together. But now what I'm thinking is this as the lace yoke. This is the main color. And then these is the stripes. But then I also grabbed this one. This dyed by Dells. Or no, this is Le Garçon now. Doing this as the lace yoke. This is the main color. And this is the stripes. Or this is the main color. This is the stripes. I think I'm going to do this. Maybe save this for a hat or something. Um, but I also at the same time am wondering, is this too much of a different like mixing of the bases? Because this is cashmere. This is BFL sock. And this is Superwash Merino, Surrey Alpaca, and Nylon. Is this too different? It feels good in my hands. But is it too different? I don't know. We'll see. I think I am going to do this as the, okay, I think I'm going to do this. Like, this is like my, I think, I think, I really do. This is the lace yoke. This is the main color so I can feel the squishiness of the alpaca more. And this is the stripes. I'm really excited for that now. Mm, okay, that's happening. I'm going to put it right here so that I know for myself. Anyway, I had a lot of fun talking to you guys. Um, I've been watching a lot of podcasts. My husband was home for three weeks this time, so I wasn't able to keep up on podcasts, so I had a lot to catch up on. And I just have been having the time of my life at night when my son goes to bed. I love my son. I love hanging out with him during the day, but honestly, I love it when he goes to bed and I get to just knit and watch podcasts by myself. Sometimes I door dash uh, chocolate milkshakes. Well, that's my thing. Anyway, I hope y'all have a great September, a great fall. Enjoy the pumpkin spice for me. I try to only get like one a day-ish, one every other day. Anyway, happy knitting and I'll see you at the next one. Bye.